hi guys welcome back to my channel um, my name is Rose Hillen and you are watching my 100 days of making comics challenge here on YouTube today is day um, 45 and I feel like I did a lot of work today but it also feels like one of those days where I don't have a lot to show for it um, I worked today from 9.30 to 5.30 and I stayed after and hung out at um, a cafe and drew for a little bit. Um, a lot of the drawing that I did wound up being inking Ray's character sheet which I want to color um, because I want to nail down his hair which is red. Um, so here's the character sheet. It was just pencils. Um, I did decide to keep his uh, tattoo in the back and I changed up this expression before it was a weird like his eyes were half closed and he looked really I'm gonna say the word dumb <laughs> um, and now he just looks goofy which I'm not sure I like that either so I um, posted these inks to Instagram and actually erased this image off of the post. Um, so we will see, but I need to think of a goofy shirt to put, goofy design to put on a shirt before I color this. I also need to think of a shirt for the comic because I have no idea what shirt he's wearing. And I'm, I started page three tonight, so, um, by the way, when I first started drawing Ray in 2017, um, the first iteration of this comic, the person who had some of these characteristics and who was going to be, like, the main male protagonist was not a werewolf. Um, he had long hair, like Ray. Um, but he was, um, descended from the Frankenstein monster. I had a whole, I have a whole backstory for these characters and it's going to be a different, um, male character now. Um, I have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> <laughs> Apparently I sneeze when I'm nervous, so <laughs> I'm really likely to sneeze while I'm recording these videos. <laughs> Anyways, um, my first iteration of Ray was, um, his name was also Ray. Um, he was descended from the Frankenstein monster. He had long hair, but it was up in a man bun and he wore glasses. So it was, um, it took, it, the story takes place in Portland and a man bun I thought was like, oh my God, totally. He has to have a man bun. Um, and this was right after I had Ellie, before I started working at the bookstore. Um, I just had all this time, not all this time, but I was, um, ha no one has time after a newborn um, and a toddler, but uh, I was writing the story and I wanted this character to just be like this really weird hipster with a man bun and um, glasses and he's like a nerd. Um, and as I continued to develop the story, um, it changed from being the, I didn't want my first story to have the Frankenstein descendants. Um, so he became a werewolf because that seemed like an easier character to develop. Plus I wanted a big family and I wanted him to have a big family and I wanted to draw his sister and his mom and, um, work with that dynamic. So Ray became this werewolf um and then I decided to have his hair down because a man bun seemed too much and then he's a werewolf so he doesn't need glasses um in my story anyway so yeah he's come a long way since 2017 you know um he I have to find that sketchbook he looks similar but 
you know, it doesn't have the glasses, it doesn't have the man bun, um, doesn't have the bolt in his neck. Um, I have to find the sketch, because it's, I was thinking about it today, and, uh, it's really funny. Really funny, the development. Um, page three is in the works. I started it today, so here's my clipboard. I wanted to show you what it looks like when I'm not working on it. I cover my comic page. This is just two pieces of printer paper, eight and a half by eleven, that I taped together so that it covers the Bristol board to protect the surface so I can transport it in my backpack. Um, a piece of tracing paper this size works great. I don't have tracing paper this size and I wasn't going to go and buy some um, just to cover my board. That is a ridiculous waste of money. I suppose if I need to trace my work, I might purchase um, a tracing pad that size, but I don't need it right now. So I started page three at the cafe. It's only blue pencils right now, the two panels, um, and I condensed it from four panels to three. Um, so I should get the thumbnails out, but this is what it looks like right now, if you can see it. Um, need a pointer. Minerva is looking at the lost and f the lost flyer, and she comes to some realization here, and then she looks over into the river, and she says, "It's in the river." And then Ray says, "God dang it," <laughs> or something. I don't know. I might. Ch I have to change it. I changed it from the three panels. Um, so the three panels. Minerva is looking at the lost flyer. She looks over. Um, this this says, "What do we do now?" From Ray. Um, this says, uh, I can't remember what it says. The script is somewhere around here. This is terrible, a terrible video, um, because I can't remember anything, but she, um, is trying to hand the flyer off to Ray, and then, um, this one, she hands the flyer to Ray and says it's in the river. Um, for, like, this seems a slower pace than this. Like, this is going to cut to this scene where she's walking across the sidewalk to the fence and, you know, does the whole Mufasa thing where she's, where he says, everything the light touches. No, he, she says, um, water grounds all magic, um, which is why the tracking spell isn't working, uh, cause it must be in the river. It's tracked the otter. Um, through the park and now they're just wandering up and down the sidewalk because they can't figure the the tracking spell can't figure out exactly where it is um, but it knows that it's in this vicinity so oh and then there's this little inset panel so um, this was five panels now it's four because it's one two the big panel and then um, four so yeah editing as I'm going along. This video is running nine minutes, so I'm going to cut it off here. I'm not even sure what I talked about in those nine minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tomorrow I close, so I have no idea when I'm going to find the time to work on this drawing and this comic, so we will see. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are. I hope you had a lovely Valentine's Day, um, whether or not you had someone to celebrate it with. Or I'm hoping if you don't have a partner that you spent time celebrating yourself because you are a wonderful person and you deserve to celebrate yourself. Alright guys, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!